Hello again everyone, thank you for joining me, I hope you're all well. Okay, so back in Truck and Logistics Simulator, and um, what we're going to do in this episode is one more job, and then we're going to buy the Dropside um, Transit Van. Um, but yeah, we need to do one more job to be able to afford it. Right, so yeah, I hope you're all well, hope you're all having a good one. Um, and in the last one, I mentioned um, a console player, or... Another YouTuber who does um, console reviews, and um, so the British Ace, and I did quickly have a look, and he has done a review on this game, so highly recommend checking him out, and um, there'll be a link in the comments. Um, okay, so let's just take this one. Um, so we've got 16, 9. Yeah, we'll take this one, get this job done, and then after that we'll buy the drop side van. Yeah, so he's a really nice bloke, and um, yeah, much bigger channel than mine, so he knows what he's doing. Okay. Uh, right, let's get this sorted. And he plays it on the PlayStation 5 in um, the link that will be in the um, comments. But he's also got um, Xbox as well, so I'm sure he's going to do an episode on that too. But yeah, highly worth checking that channel out. Right, here we go. Um, I think traffic's gone up to 15 again. Seems a bit busier. Right, here we go. Oh, easy jolly. Yeah, so obviously once we've got the transit, we'll be able to take more stuff and then we'll be able to earn more money. Um, the idea will be to um, try and get yeah the next vehicle as quick as possible. So obviously start it out in the little van, then we'll move up to the drop side. Then after that, probably... A bigger panel van um, then after that rigid and after that semi nice but we'll see we'll see how it goes um yeah I, with the car I don't really see the point in it at the moment um obviously you can tow stuff but you you don't really want to be using a car to tow stuff around So I think the, the vehicles like that are just for leisure, really. But saying that, you can actually put a tow bar, or the um, Mustang does actually come with a tow bar, so you could even tow with that. Um, so I didn't watch all of the review just because I didn't have time, but he did say that his steering wheel connected to his PlayStation 5 worked all right. So, yeah, he said that there wasn't force feedback, but there's like resistance but yeah if you're a um, console player I really do think you should um, check out his review on it um, before making a decision because obviously I haven't got the option to uh, yeah try it on console so I can't give a genuine um, conclusion on it But on the PC, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, right, let's get going. Oh mate, oh, hoping it bugger off up there. Yeah, so I've done a lot of van driving in my time, and uh, one of the jobs I hated the most was, um, yeah, a lot of van driving. 
because I was one of the only people with a driver's license that worked there. It was so bizarre. But yeah, I was one of the only people with a driver's license there and that could be trusted. I don't know why they trusted me um, to drive a van. But um, yeah, basically I'd have to go to the yard, pick the van up in the morning. All the responsibility was on me. And then I'd have to go to a meeting point. We're going through these nights. Go to a meeting point. Pick up a load of lads who'd then sleep in the truck, um, in the van, all the way to site. And then when I got to site, I obviously had to work like they did on the saws. And uh, yeah, they'd all had this really long break. And what used to really annoy me was when they were late to the pickup point because I'd have gone and got the van 45 minutes before we were meant to be uh, meeting. So I'd already done 45 minutes work at least and um, then buggers couldn't even be bothered to turn up at like on time and uh, yeah my boss was a bit of an idiot oh let's have some lights on and uh, yeah I said to him like I'm fed up with just like getting here early picking the van up trying to make your business run properly and then people not even turning up and you not doing anything about it and he laughed at it and I said right tomorrow then if I turn up to the meeting point and no one's there, I'm going on my own. Like, literally, I'm just fed up with it. And uh, he said, well, you won't be doing that. So the next day, I was the only person to turn up on site. And I was kind of hoping that he'd fire me. Because, um, obviously, instead of getting... How many people did I used to take down? Five. Instead of getting five lots of wages, he only got one. But um, it taught him a lesson, and he brought everyone in to the office, tried shouting at me, and I said, no, I'm, like, I told you what was going to happen, and I was self-employed as well, so I didn't really care. I said, I told you what was going to happen. If you didn't sort it out, you've got to be the boss. And, uh, yeah, and I ended up getting a pay rise out of it. So sometimes you've just got to dominate, haven't you? But then, yeah, I've worked in other situations where the boss just didn't care. And uh, um, it's saying that there's a road here, but there isn't. So what have I missed? Okay, well, I don't cut bugs out, so something's gone wrong here. So let's see whether I've got access down here somewhere. Oh, it's over there, look. Yeah, so when I said um, on that first ever episode don't drift on public roads, just drift on your boss's drive um, yeah, he's one of the people who had to go up with Jolly but when bosses take care of their style it's um, yeah, respected, isn't it? There we go. Right. So, we've definitely got enough now to buy the next van. So, go to garage, drop side van. And 21, perfect. So, I think we could even afford... Oh, not quite. I didn't really want this one anyway. I wanted the transit. So, let's buy this. Yep. <clears throat> uh, I do actually quite like it how it is. So, yeah, we'll just do that. Drive. And I don't know where it's going to put us. Okay. I think we're just round the corner from where we were. So, at night time, the caravan site. It would be nice if a few of the caravans had lights on. Oh, the city looks nice, doesn't it? Um, Skybox looks alright. Nice. Moving a little bit quick, isn't it? But then I suppose the passing of time. Okay. Right, so we'll put it on dynamic. And yeah, let's choose a job. So where can we go? Uh, well, 
whatever that is will go down there so we'll give this a little bit of a test drive because i don't think i've driven this one yeah i can't even remember yes i have oh no not in this form right so it's rear wheel drive oh it's a jewel isn't it so with a transit rear wheel drive jewelie they're not as good drifting don't ask me how i know Right, sorry Prius. We're being one of them. Cheers, mate. Yeah, they've got too much traction. Yeah, not quite. And if you are going to be drifting on this game, it's probably best to turn your... Um, sorry, mate. Probably best to turn your angle down to like 540 or maybe less I'm oh, going over a dam yeah so quite nice looking let me just um, I'll be back in just a moment sorry about that everyone I was just grabbing a screenshot so yeah quite a nice looking um, backdrop there um, you're in third Jolly okay that's really loud, isn't it? Let's go inside. I would like to be able to open the windows as well. I keep mentioning all these things that I'd like. Yeah, so it's not the fastest thing in the world, but that's right. It will take a good load on it, I'm sure. Yeah, and one of the transits that I drove years ago, it was for a different boss. It was, uh, yeah, a Jolie. And, um, yeah, it only had five gears. And my goodness, that fifth gear was so low. So when you were going along at 70, it was, like, really thrashing the engine. Um... Yeah, sod it. Let's do that. We haven't driven this yet, so yeah, we'll do that top one. Yep. Yeah, so it's really loud in the cab, and I had to do a night shift in it. Yeah, so I haven't driven this yet. Okay. That's pretty cool. Okay. Right, let's lift that out there. Um, check the lights. Uh, as it okay so no indicator on the front Born. nice okay and jump inside have a look in the cab okay pretty cool yeah I had to do a um, night shift and I was the driver because I was the only one that could um, tow a trailer at that place so I always had to bloody do it and I hate it <coughs> um Oh, fail. Because it meant, again, I had to get there before everyone else. Load it all up and everything. And, uh, yeah. Then people would be late to site. <coughs> anyway. Yeah, so we had to take that thing. And uh, going along the motorway. In the middle of the night. Obviously, you can go... Well, you shouldn't, but... You sometimes go a little bit over 70, don't you? And uh, it was just awful. It sounded horrendous where it's revving so high. Right, so it's a lot slower with um, this behind us, as you'd expect. So what we'll do on the way there... So we've got a bit of a hill here. But I wanted something bigger than this, really. Right, so, handbrake's on. Handbrake's on, and I'm going to just put away as quick as I can. So, as you can see, it's pretty slow getting up there, so levelling off now. Right, 60. Okay, 
sorry if this is boring and then I'm going to do the same again slightly downhill so let's see whether it fills any quicker so handbrake on again yeah it's quicker isn't it so it does have an effect if you've got a load on the back which it obviously should so I like that revving the guts out of this and it's my van as well oh um, it's asking us to put the headlights on so we'll pop them on no worries um, someone did ask uh, well a few questions actually um, so it hasn't got um, like Jake brake or anything like that on the lorries yet um, I think you can use engine braking so we'll try that in a second okay so into second yeah so there was some resistance there so that second bit was where I put my foot on the clutch to just let it roll and yeah it rolled it accelerated quicker with my foot on the clutch rather than in gear so yeah there is engine braking you can use if you've got manual um what else was there yeah you can turn the clutch off so you can drive it manual with a kind of automatic clutch so semi-automatic or you can just pop it in um full auto if you want but yeah because i've got the stuff i like to use manual and especially playing that game in the snow not snow runner but playing that other game and um, i can't use my equipment and that really annoys me because obviously it costs quite a lot of money and uh yeah it's not a thing right so we're almost out of fuel so let's quickly pop in here and fuel this up just so i don't have to worry about it Okay. Right, stop the engine. There we go. So um that cost us almost ninety. Is the trailer still connected? It is. Yeah, so that's where you do the repairs. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I wish we could turn full beam on and off. Something else as well, obviously there's um, four wheel drives on here. This is a rear wheel drive that we're in at the moment, our Bipper van um, from the last episode, well from the start of this one, that's front wheel drive, but there are four wheel drives on here as well. I would like to be able to um, yeah, select four wheel drive. And uh, yeah, maybe some of the jobs could be a little bit off road. So I, I don't mean like snow runner style, but um, yeah, it would be nice to be able to get a little bit stuck out there and have to use some skill to get it out. Yeah, so snow runner is an excellent game, it really is, but again, no gearbox option, so you can't change gear manually, and oh, it just ruins it for me, it really does. And there's there's so many mods on that game and um, so if you haven't played it for a while it's definitely worth um looking into again yeah th there's just so many mods it's unreal some of them are a bit stupid but some of them are just excellent so i presume this has got six gears yes it has Going a bit quick, mate. Yep, 
Yeah, and I, I don't like that wine. It would annoy me so much. It's like many years ago, I lived in um, a block of flats and one of my neighbours had a fan belt that was loose. So every morning when he starts his car up, it squealed. And at the time I was on constant nights. So it, he used to leave for work about an hour after I fell asleep. And uh, yeah, every bloody morning it wake me up. And you know when you haven't had enough sleep, <laughs> anything can set you off. And it just used to make me so ratty. And I said to him once, do you want me to tighten your fan belt up? And he said, oh, I can't really afford it, mate. And I said, no, I'll do it for free. So I tightened it up and my goodness, the quality of life improvement. <laughs> Oh, it took about 10 minutes. Yeah, so it took such a little amount of time that the coffee that he made me while I was doing it wasn't cool enough to drink. So then I had that awkward moment of, do you drink it and scald your mouth? Or do you just stand there and try and make chit chat when you're absolutely knackered and you're just doing this because he's been pissing you off for months. Oh, what are you doing, mate? I'd like one of them on here as well. I do actually really want a van in real life. I'd love to have a stealth camper. I think I'd be so tempted, though, to try and live in it all time. And obviously I couldn't do YouTube doing that. Oh, no. Oh, we, we were all right. That's all right, though. There was no one there. And yeah, this is pretty much how I was driving back from that night shift that I did because I was in such a stress. Oh no, I'm not concentrating enough on the GPS. Yeah, so there is false feedback, but it's not quite strong enough. I prefer it to be more. And the suspension does feel a little bit wibbly wobbly. I mean, look at our character. <laughs> oh, what did I just do? Um, Jolly, you've missed your turning, mate. Right, you've got to live with that now. It was your fault. Um, I can't remember how you do the camera. There we go. Right, it looks like I'll be able to spin it round up here. So, we'll pretend that I did that on purpose to see how the um, navigation goes. Right, so it's kind of wanting me to do a turn in the road, isn't it? So, let's pop our hazards on. Yeah, and just thinking about that shift. So, it was residential um, area that we had to park up in and all getting chainsaws out and like obviously unloading what was on the back and my goodness the grief that we got and it like I it wasn't my contract I was just a like subcontractor but yeah the grief we got and someone came out with a baby this lady came out with a baby and she was saying how dare you like you're doing this all the time and I said, I've never been here before, madam. And I said, I do like respect you, but I'm just doing my job. And it was actually, um, it was just before that thing that went round, the illness. 
and um, but I was actually an essential worker through it, so I didn't need to be doing my job. Oh, but yeah, not not a nice shit. Okay. Right, so just over here somewhere. Oh. Yeah, I quite like the fact that you can put dynamic time on as well. Um, not dynamic, sorry. Actual time on. So I wish I'd have known that. Pre-recording wind turbine up there. And look, it's spinning as soon as it comes into view. Yeah, because if I'd have known that, it would have um, improved it even more. So, right. Um, so, this place, I did actually have a play around here. Um, Pre-recording. As you can see, um, it affects traction. So, we can actually do donuts here. Um, what I mean is, um, it... If I try and do a donut here, as you can see, it's not as good, but on the mud, it does react different. So that's excellent. Okay. It was lucky that I didn't just draw a penis by accident. Okay. Right, back this in. There we go. So almost 10 grand for that. That's all right, isn't it? Um, so you get a um, parking bonus and a loading bonus as well. Oh, that's where we bought fuel. Okay, no worries. And seeing as we're here. Oh, no, come on. Yeah, I think the ratios aren't good enough for a drift in this. You can't do any performance modifications at the moment, by the way. That was something else that was um, asked. Okay. Right. So, let's uh, get in the next job. And it's a shame that they don't get dirty as well. I need to stop criticising, don't I? Um, so, what have we got? Uh, so, 1,057, 1,089. Yeah, we'll do that one then. Um, so we probably won't finish this job on this episode, but a bit try. Okay. Um, I doubt it'll go up with this thing down. No, it won't. So let's lift that up. The bucket, I mean. Stalled it. Okay. I like the way it loads itself up as well. Oh. Yeah, I need to turn the sensitivity down. Okay. Yeah, and um, the British ace, he did seem to be having fun on it as well, so I'm glad that he enjoyed it. But yeah, please do watch that video and obviously check out his other videos as well. I don't know him in real life or anything like that. I just stumbled across his channel um, quite a long time ago, actually. And uh, yeah, I think he had about as many subscribers as I've got now. And I thought this bloke's a legend. Really nice. Really friendly and um, live as well. Yeah, I like live streams. Really active. And yeah, fair play to him. He deserves it. And yeah, so lots of simulators. Um, bus and coach games. Truck games. Trains, 
all sorts. Um, console and PC. But yeah. Easy. You got flat tyres for you. Come on. I don't know why it keeps coming up with reset camera over on the left there. I don't know whether it doesn't like my face tracking. Yeah, I'd really miss face tracking if um, I went back to console. I'll have to Google after whether there's any face tracking for console, but I wouldn't be interested in spending bloody 100 quid or whatever. Well, some of them are ridiculous amount. So yeah, obviously my one's free, it just needs any web camera to use it. And how excellent is it that it's free? Right, so there's a bit of a glitch on the mirror there, so you can see through the bridge on that bottom one. But I don't know how to zoom in. I can't lean forward because I'll basically headbutt my microphone. Wow, look at him go. He's either late for work or it's Friday. Yeah, he's really going for it because he's caught up that other um, NPC there. Look. Um, is he faster than Jolly though? That's the question. Hopefully we're going the same. No, we're not. We're going up here. Oh, so we will get it done. We're almost there now. Yeah, I always used to drive sensibly like I'd, I'd never want to put someone else's life in danger but um yeah i was quite a prompt driver let's put it that way and um yeah sometimes cars would overtake me when i was lorry driving and um they'd end up actually delaying me and i'd be like stuck behind them and i'd be thinking like you're a bugger like you've seen a lorry and expected it oh let's just back in from here expected it to be driving really slow and now you're actually slowing me down and i got a really good reputation with the um well especially the first company that i worked for because i was so reliable like if they wanted a job done they knew that i'd just get it done and in good time as well but yeah he's quite annoying me when i was sitting up the arse of a car well not not tailgating but sitting there thinking like you've overtaken me and now you're slowing me down and i'm in a bloody lorry and the funniest one was um when i got overtaken by an mx5 so a pretty good car handling wise and then he was slowing me up and i was driving along laughing in this massive lorry trailer and he was trying to get away from me, but he just couldn't. Because of skill. Right, so there's um, another point up here where we can get a job. Right. No, it just hasn't got the power. So maybe we should have got that MAN. Maybe that would have had a little bit more. It does tell you the power, by the way. But yeah, in fact, thinking about it, we should have got the Volkswagen, the transporter drop type, because that only had like two wheels at the back rather than four like this one. When I say jewelry, by the way, I mean 
that. You can see it's got all wheels. We went the wrong way. No, we didn't. It's up here, look. Oh, it's like a quarry. Yeah, so that might have been easier to drift. Not that I should be drifting, because this is our vehicle. Right, so we're going down there. Nice. We might not be able to pick a job up from here, I don't know. One way to find out, isn't there? Can we not? Yeah, we can. Okay. Yeah, so there's loads of jobs. So it doesn't ever look like there's going to be a um, problem finding jobs. And what time are we at? 36 minutes. Um, let's take this one because I think we'll be able to get there in time. Oh. Missed the button. Stalled it. No, I didn't. My goodness, this is third gear. What are you doing, Johnny? I think it's because I'm used to driving lorry games and obviously where third gear is on my H-shifter is where first would be in a lorry. And then reverse is where second would be and brawl is where first would be. Like low. Um, I think I'm going the right way. I'm not, am I? Well, we'll have a drive around the site then, shall we? Yeah, tower lights, my goodness. And the ones that I used to deliver, they were so easy to break. So, always had to have these massive bulbs. And it was so... Um, not going to cut it out, graphical glitch. It was so annoying because you'd put them on when they were low and check them all, and then you'd send them up. Obviously, nowadays it'd all be LED, I imagine. You'd send them up, and then they weren't quick going up. So that's basically a generator that generates the electric to power them. So they weren't quick going up, and then it'd get up there, and one of them would go, ding! and be gone and then you'd have to bring it all the way back down change the bulb that was about a billion degrees celsius and then send it up again with burnt fingers because you try and do it with your t-shirt <sighs> but jolly never learned because he was too young too young to have any common sense Right, we're going regardless. Sorry, mate. I like Skodas. Apparently, them Skoda Octavia VRS is that shape that just went past. They are actually um, good even by modern standards. But they're probably becoming quite rare now. Oh, not up there, Johnny. Up this one. Okay, go, go, go. Yeah, so we're in episode two now, and we already own two vehicles, so perhaps a hard mode would be good in the future, um, just so that you don't progress so quickly.
because I don't like completing games quick. I like there to be a bit of um, bit of grind, bit of skill. Oh yeah, and I got asked to um, crash with a trailer as well, so um, I don't really want to do that. Because <laughs> I think if you damage a trailer, you get less money. And I've just got this feeling that if um, I drive sensibly, once I've completed so many jobs, I might get a Steam achievement for it. I, I'm saying about driving sensibly as I'm going through red lights. I don't want to waste your time. So I could sit there on red lights and make the ap episode three hours long and not get anywhere. Or we can just accept the fact that I haven't killed anyone yet. And yeah, your time is precious. You don't want to just be sat there watching some buffoon sit there waiting for a light to change. Okay. Right, so, um, yeah, we're back to... So we've got three grand more than we had at the start of the episode. Um, but we've also got this now. So let's really quickly go back to the garage. And I don't want to do this straight away. But can you sell vehicles? Um, it doesn't look like you can, which is fine. I'm okay with that. So what we'll do then in the series is we'll just try and own every single vehicle. So, yeah, the pickups. Um, right, it tells you the fuel consumption here. We haven't got miles per gallon or miles an hour at the moment, but I expect they'll probably add it. So that's 46 grand, which seems a bit cheap, doesn't it? And uh, the transit is 21, so we can almost afford that. So what we'll do in the next episode, I suppose seeing as we've already got this transit shape as a drop side, I suppose we'll go for this one. So in the next episode, we'll um, do one more job in the transit drop side, and then we'll um, buy the panel van, MAN. So 177 horsepower, front wheel drive. Okay, well, yeah, we'll give that a run. And then after that, I suppose we're going for either pickup or the rigid truck. So, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to it. And there are other trucks as well available. Oh, that'd be nice. I've driven one of these in real life. And my goodness, they're amazing. They're so much fun. Anyway, right, so I'll leave it here. It was a Volvo, by the way, um, FMX. I'll leave it here. So thanks for joining me, everyone. I do really appreciate each and every view. And if you've liked this, please feel free to join me in the next one. So cheers, everyone, and bye for now.